The post filter feature allows you to add the post category filter on blog archive pages. On clicking the displayed filter, posts based on those categories will be displayed immediately. In this video, I will show you how to add post filters for sorting blog posts step by step. Let's get started. Please note that to access this feature, you will first need to install and activate the Rishi Pro plugin and then activate the advanced blogging extension. To access the advanced blogging extension from your WordPress admin dashboard, go to Appearance and click on Rishi theme. Go to Extensions, click on Pro Extensions. From under Advanced Blogging, you have to click on the Activate button. After activating the Advanced Blogging extension, you can directly access the Post Filter settings by clicking on the Configure option. I'm going to open the link in the new tab. Now, go to Post Filters. From here, you will be able to enable the Post Filters option. But before I enable this option, let's go to Block Page so that I will be able to show you the changes side by side. So here is our Block Page and right now, the Post Filters are not being displayed. Let's enable the option first. So even after enabling the post filters, the post filter is not displayed yet. And that is because we have not yet added the categories. You can select and add the categories from display categories option. Also, please note that if you want to display categories on the blog page, you should make sure that you have selected blog from under display post filters on option. If you don't select this option, then even after selecting the categories, the post filters will not be displayed on your blog page. So let's select the categories. From the list of drop-down categories, you have to select the category that you want to display. Then you have to click on the Add button. And as soon as you add one or more categories, the post filter will be displayed on your blog page. Let's add all of the categories. You can also sort the categories by simply dragging and dropping them. And you can also make any one of the categories temporarily disappear by simply clicking on the eye icon. For example, if I don't want the uncategorized category to display, I can click on the eye icon here, which will hide the uncategorized category. If you want to display it back on, you can click on the eye icon once again. From under layouts, you can select the layout options. You can select layout one, layout number two, or layout number three. I will stick with layout number one. From display post filters on option, you can select if you would like to add post filters on the blog page or categories or both of them. You simply have to select the option available. You can also select the horizontal alignment from three different options available. You can also select the item spacing, top spacing, as well as the bottom spacing. You can select all of these three options across different devices. If you wish to reset any of the changes, then you can simply click on the reset icons. From under design tab, you can select the tab colors. You can select the text color, which is currently set as black. You can select any color of your choice. Then you can also select the background color. Like you can go for the light color or 
a dark one. Then you can also select the content font. You can select the font family, the font style, then set the font size, line height, letter spacing, as well as apply other styling options. I'm going to reset the tab colors, but you can make the changes as per your site's requirement. After you are done, click on publish to save the changes. Now let's see how the post filter looks like on our front end. So let's go back to our dashboard and we will open our site in the front end. Let's go to block page. And this is what the post filter feature looks like on the front end. If you have any questions or confusions, please do let me know in the comment section below or you can directly reach out to our support team. I have added the link to creating support ticket in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in our next video.